Let's talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines never meet, and therefore they have to have the same slope. They have to go the same direction to not meet, and direction is slope. Perpendicular lines do intersect at one point. However, that intersection is extremely specific. They intersect at a 90 degree angle. Because of this intersection, they have negative reciprocal slopes. So as an example, if the slope of this line right here is one half, then the slope of this line right here, the perpendicular line, is the negative reciprocal of one half, which is negative two over one. If the slope of our positive line here is four over five, then the slope of our negative line right here is the negative reciprocal of four over five, which is negative five over four. So that's how you find the slopes of perpendicular lines. Find the equation of the line parallel to two x minus three y equals six, and that passes through four comma five. Well, if it's parallel to this line, then these lines have the same slope. So we have to find the slope of this line right here to be able to find the slope of our line. To do that, we will turn this standard form line into slope intercept. So we'll subtract 2x. Here we have negative 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. We can divide both sides by negative three, and so y is equal to positive two over three x, and then six divided by negative three is negative two. So this is equivalent to this line right here. So this slope of this line is two over three. Now since our line that we're trying to find is parallel to this line right here, which is the same as this right here, that means that our slope is also going to be two over three because parallel lines have the same slope. And so, our slope is two over three, and it passes through the point four comma five. So, all the parallel information told us is the slope of our new line because it's parallel and parallel lines have the same slope. We now have a point, we have a slope, we can use point slope form to find the equation of our new line. This is y minus y1, which is 5, is equal to m, which is our slope, times x minus x1, which is 4. So here's our line in point slope form. And we'll leave it here. We don't want to have to do anything else to this. We could turn it into slope intercept or standard form, but why? This is a perfectly acceptable form for a line. Find the equation of the line that has 6 comma negative 10 as a solution and is perpendicular to the line that passes through the points 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 5. Well, per if our line is perpendicular to this one, then our line has the negative reciprocal slope of this one. Now the slope of this line, we can use our slope form. So the slope of, let's call this line right here, let's call this line L. So the slope of L is equal to y2, which is negative 5, minus y1, minus 3, over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 1. So this slope is negative 8 over 1, which is negative 8. That means the slope of our line is the negative reciprocal of negative 8. In other words, that is 1 over 8. And we know that 6 comma negative 10 is a solution. So we have the equation y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1.
and that is the equation of our line right there. But let's do a little experiment and let's turn this into our other forms just so that we know how to. I'll get rid of this fraction right here by multiplying everything by 8. And so now we have 8y plus 80 is equal to, we're left with the 1 here. If we can distribute that, we get x minus 6. Well, that means that we have negative x plus 8y is equal to negative 6 minus 80 is negative 86. But of course, a can't be negative, so this is x minus 8y is equal to positive 86. So here is the equation of this line in standard form. We can also find the equation of this line in slope-intercept form by creating a diverted path right here. Here we can solve for y, and that would get us into slope-intercept form. We can subtract 80, so we have 8y is equal to x minus 86. And then we can divide everything by 8. So we have y is equal to 1 over 8x minus 86 over 8 can reduce. 86 is really 43 over 4. And so here is the equation in slope intercept form. Of course, if they had asked us, what is the y-intercept of the line that has blah blah blah? Well, we could put it into point-slope form and then convert that into slope-intercept form and boom, we've got our y-intercept right there.